Jennifer Priest here with a really fun way to decorate your party with smooth foam if you're gonna have a Minions party. You can do this for any party, not just Minions. So what you're gonna need is a 12 by 12, 5 8 inch sheet of smooth foam. And you can get these on the Smooth Foam website. And what we're doing is just painting the whole thing yellow with acrylic paint. Smooth foam is really, really easy to paint, so you can customize it to whatever party theme you have. So I decided to make these instead of buying like plates or chargers or platters that were yellow because they kind of have a limited useful life since I'm not going to be doing a lot of things that are yellow. So with this, these smooth foam sheets, I can paint them the yellow color, use them as kind of a staging area or like a, a charger or cake plate or a presentation plate for my party stuff. And then the next time that I go to use them, I can just paint them another color for the next theme. So you wanna make sure that you paint the whole thing really, really well, get into the crevices. There's not very many crevices, but you do wanna use a brush and get into those crevices. Let that dry, make sure you paint all the edges of the smooth foam sheet really well as well. And then I'm gonna show you how to use a Sizzix Eclipse 2, which is an electronic cutter, to cut out your custom um, words and letters and things to put onto the smooth foam plates. So since I'm doing a Minions party, I wanted to make little bases for the Minions, and then I also wanted to have their little feet cut out of paper so that when I set the little cups with the Minion cupcakes on them, which I'll put a link to the Minion cupcakes here, um, you could see the little feet sticking out from the bottom of the Minion. So I just made some circles. I measured the bottom of the cup, and it was about one and a half inches wide. So I used the duplicate feature here to make a bunch of circles and then cut them out with the Sizzix Eclipse 2. Then I used the ovals, and this is just from the basic shapes that come with the Sizzix Eclipse 2. These, these aren't any shapes that I bought. So I used the ovals and I laid them out and kind of rotated them around. And then I went to the um, path, uh, the path, uh, menu up at the top and then grouped them and then I also use the duplicate um, Option to create a set of ten now I only need nine of them So sometimes I'd like to cut out like one or two extra in case there's a boo-boo or whatever So I cut those out of black I cut the circles out of blue and then I decided I wanted to put some words across the bottoms of my um, Smooth foam sheets. So I used three sheets and on the left one I wanted it to say minions and on the right one I wanted it to say unite and so uh, using the text tool, I typed those out using a font called Bebus or Bebus. I don't know what it's called. Anyway, so I cut those out. I used some Darice cardstock. Darice sent me the cardstock um, for this. And Smooth Foam also gave me the Smooth Foam sheets for this project. So I'm laying out all of my circles for the minion feet. And then I'm using a Tombow uh, Power or Tombow Extreme adhesive runner to add these to my smooth foam. Now this is gonna make it so that they don't fall off when all the kids are like grabbing the little Twinkies and everything and touching this, the letters won't fall off. But I can peel them off to remove them so that if I wanna use this for something else later, I can. And to make this more fun, I put some of the letters backwards just so that it would be kind of silly, you know, like the minions are. Um, again, I'm using that power bond, or not power bond, I'm sorry, that's like the old name for it. I'm using the Tombow Extreme Adhesive um, Runner to add those little feet to my little minion uh, setup here. And um, the trick with that runner is that you do want to kind of snap your hand to the side to break the adhesive as you are running it along because it doesn't want to break very easily like your regular tape runner because it is super, super strong. It's like six times stronger than your regular adhesive. Tombow also sent me that tape runner to use um, for this project. You can pick it up at your local Michaels store or any major craft store. Also, they have it on Amazon and Tombow um, at their website. So I'm just adding the words to each bottom of my thing. And then you can see here we're putting the little cupcakes on our Minions like charger and um, getting our whole little party set up. So I hope that you enjoyed this look at a fun way to use smooth foam sheets, which are super affordable, as chargers that you can use over and over again for your party decor. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. If you are watching this on the Smooth Foam blog, you can click on the little YouTube logo down at the lower right to head over to YouTube to like this video and to subscribe, or you can click on the annotations here at the end of the video to subscribe. Please leave a comment down at the Smooth Foam blog or here on the video. Um, I'd love to hear what you think and how you might use these for your own party. Bye!